Hey guys, welcome to another video. I just wanted to say that this is actually going to be a voiceover video because the original recording really sucked. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. So guys, as you can see, this is quite a bit like a dungeon crawler, kind of like Diablo 2. And that's actually the original reason why I even decided I was going to go for this game. It kind of just gives me a little bit of nostalgia. I can uh, really appreciate some of the elements they were putting into this. And not to mention the whole Minecraft aspect. I really, really like this game. It's just kind of a, a thing that I can sit down and go and play every once in a while. It's actually quite nice. I would also like to mention how they implement the whole archery deal into this. I really appreciate it because it gives you that aspect that you're not just going to be using a, uh, a bow the entire time or a melee weapon the entire time. It makes it so that you can do both, which is a little more realistic feeling. Another cool element that they kind of show in this is that uh, when it comes to gathering stuff like supplies and whatnot, you don't necessarily get to store it. It's more of it's right there in front of you and you get to eat whatever food or grab whatever equipment you need right then and there, which gives me almost kind of a, like a gauntlet feeling. Um, if any of you have played that, then you would understand what I mean. There is something I would like to mention about this, and that's about the Illager and kind of the whole plot of Minecraft Dungeons. And I would have to say that it just doesn't really feel like it fits in either Minecraft or in Dungeon-esque games. It just, it, it feels made just so that there could be a villain. Um, I feel like that there needs to be something more to the story to really get myself interested in it and to want to play it to actually finish the game. Um, the thing is, is there's not really very many characters to go off of in the game that you can get attached to and really love and be invested in. Also, this could happen. Oh, well, what? Okay, so you actually can just run off the edge in the game, okay. So this is my first impression of the Creeper Woods. Um, first of all, why in the world are they throwing a shitload of zombies at you at the very first step into the woods when it's clearly named Creeper Woods? It would seem more viable that mainly creepers would be your enemy here, and this is where you would learn how to deal with it. That's just my opinion, though. I'm not saying that's how it should be. I'm just saying that's what makes sense in my mind. Also, there are pots in the game that you can find that contain emeralds, Similarly to uh, Zelda, where you can find pots that contain rubies. Oh, and uh, here you can see me committing my first war crimes in this game. Murder cow! Yeah. This time, however, the game actually encourages you to commit a war crime. So after fighting for some time and freeing villagers on the way, we make our way out of the Creeper Woods back to camp. These villagers are free from the clasp of the Illagers, all thanks to you. So at the end of every level, they give you a little chest as a reward for completing the level, which is quite nice. I actually really like this. When I arrived back at camp, then I saw that they had implemented a blacksmith there, which is actually quite cool because then you can pay him to receive basically any random gear, which can actually come in handy. That's a badass pickaxe, dude. We're going to go mine and... Uh, and I hate to pull this up about this game, but even though it's based in the Minecraft world, where's the mining? And most importantly, where's the crafting? Crafting for this would be amazing. I need to commit more war crimes. Let's go. And commit war crimes, I did. And the reason why I chose the Cacti Canyon was because it showed better loot than any of the other maps at that time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I freaking needed him, dude. Boom. And oh, heavy crossbow, baby. Now we're talking. 
<laughs> so I feel like there's something worth mentioning here, and it has to do with magic. I mean, as you can tell, the Illager here is using magic to summon things there, and I know that for sure they have some mobs like the Vindicator that is uh, some kind of summoner slash magic caster, which... I think it would be really interesting if they found a way to implement magic into this game for the actual players, because then you could have stuff like mages or clerics or somebody kind of like that, you know what I mean? Oh my god, oh my god, I just whacked it and captured it. Look at that poor little thing. <laughs> I just beat the shit out of it and put it in my inventory. So I know you guys are going to say stuff like, but what about enchanting? That's magic, right? That's not the kind of magic that I want to discuss here. I'm discussing the type of magic that would be in stuff like Dungeons and Dragons and Diablo 2 and, you know, all this other dungeoneering games. It just seems like to me that magic would seem very good. That's not to say that I want to play down the enchanting. Uh, I feel like that they could also do more with their enchanting because it feels quite limited. So here you can see me complete the Cacti Canyon level, and next we're looking at the Pumpkin Pastures. Owie! They hurt so fast. The audio in this game is flat out amazing. I love it, okay? Um, one thing I would like to say though is that the multiplayer function in this game is very important. I would highly recommend getting some friends to play along with you in this game. So I finally found my first sort of dungeon and it actually got me a little bit excited. Oh, <gasps> dungeon! We're going in, boys. So I really like that I was running into dungeons already, but the problem that I was having is that the dungeons just didn't feel like they had the, like, dungeoneer aspect to it, and, you know, I wanted to see interesting stuff and to be able to deal with new mechanics and stuff like that that would only happen in that area, but it feels no different than being on the surface. Hey, so this is all I got for episode one. If you enjoy this content, then you should consider subscribing and leaving a like. I mean, it's free. You might as well.